But comedy is a way of taking revenge on life. You may have a rubbish love life, but you get some good material from it. Just ask Susan Murray. My woman show is called 21st Century Fox and it's about um, being a 30-something singleton and looking for love in the kind of modern era of internet dating. The show I'm doing tonight, this is kind of a, it's a show show. Um, and what I do is, you know, uh, the way I earn a living, I work in clubs and I have what's called a club set. That's like a sort of, you know, a 25 to 30 minute set. Uh, and there's little bits of it that are in this show, but obviously I talk about, you know, you know a vast array of subjects in that, in my club set, so it's quite different to this. I've got a laptop, I've got a projector, and I've got a radio mic. It's nice doing your own show, because you can sort of, you can talk about stuff you want to talk about. There's, it's kind of less pressure to be funny, 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 because it's a show, as opposed to, it's a stand-up set, so it's, it's quite different, really. Hand up or a chair if you're single. <laughs> You? Three of you are single? Seriously? Come on, hands up if you're single. Half a dozen, okay, hello, okay. And the rest of you, what, have you just come to gloat? <laughs> every time you do it, you're still tweaking it every time you're doing it, so it's never a kind of set thing. It's always slowly evolving, really. I mean, you know, I, it was written a while ago. Um, I've done it, I don't know, maybe half a dozen times. I've done various comedy festivals around around the country and every time there's another festival comes up you have to sort of like get the script out, <laughs> dust it off, <laughs> relearn it and go and do it. But you always sort of tweak little bits here and there when you're doing it again because just to keep it fresh for me so really. I spend my life being at gigs or driving to gigs, right? I've drive so... You know how people turn into their pets? I've actually turned into my car. <laughs> Small, red, fast and dirty with a well-hidden spare tyre, basically. <laughs> And I do so much driving, right? I've actually got my own bumper sticker that says, don't rush me, I'm on nine points. <laughs> <laughs> and I am as well. And, and I got flashed earlier on in the week. Uh, so my dad is livid. Well, he will be when he loses his licence. <laughs> <laughs> Best thing I ever did was switching those number plates. <laughs> when a female comic comes on stage, most audiences, if they don't do it physically, they metaphorically go... <laughs> Make me laugh, bitch. So you have to work twice as hard, you know, and you can just see people going, oh, God, the minute you walk on stage. So you just have to sort of change their minds, really. I've just pulled out a few favourites, right? Uh, this is... G uh, this is... Because I was looking for, like, nutters, but this guy seems really normal, right? And he says things like, hi, I must admit that profile is very short yet interesting. I am Scottish and have been living in London for... Got to change the accent now. Living in London for three years. I just love London. There's always so much to do. It seems quite normal. Um, I'm also living in Bethnal Green, I have been for three years. I'm looking to meet new people in the area also. Recently my work life has been so hectic I've been removed from reality. He seems quite normal. Maybe he's a drug dealer removed from reality, not sure. Um, now that my schedule is back to normal, I have loads of catching up to do. Bring on the fun times. Five exclamation marks, not too sure about that. Um, most of the people that I know at the moment are work related. A bit fake, actually, very fake. I just want to meet normal folks. He seems quite normal. Having said that all about myself, over to you. You're very cute and I love your hair. Do you fancy a shag? <laughs> there's about, I know, there's a handful. There's more coming through, which is good. There's a lot of new rats coming through and they are good. And it is, you know, changing audiences' perceptions of women in comedy, which is, it can only be a good thing. It just helps all of us. This guy, he was five foot nothing with a blind milky eye. I saw the photograph, I thought it was the flash. <laughs> Honestly, I had to go back and check. I was like, oh yeah, one red one, one white one, go! But the thing is, right, he's half blind and really short, right? I've, I've got no detailed vision in one. I'm half blind in one eye. It's really weird. It's like having a blind spot in the middle of my eyes. And it means when I do pull, the men are pig ugly, but with very nice hair. 